we had one of our prison guards uh, who lives up north who had come off shift on the 15th. His last day of work was the 15th of September. Uh, that's a little over two weeks ago. And um, while he was at home, he began experiencing symptoms of COVID-19. So he went and he got swabbed on the 22nd. And um, the test came back positive for COVID-19 on the 28th of September. So as a result of that, we got into contact tracing mode, and we started to find out who all he may have been in contact with while he worked um, up to the 15th of September. Uh, so we went after all those guards and other people who he may have been in close contact with. And as a result of that, we came up with 30 names of fellow staff members, uh, guards that is, and we did swabbing of them and we sent it off to the lab, and four of the four of the 30 tests that we have done so far came back uh, positive for COVID-19. Uh, uh, what I can say is that it would appear that they are asymptomatic because so far the the four guys are not displaying any symptoms at all, any flu or or cough, dry cough, or those kinds of things. So that is the situation uh, that we have right now. There's still one test pending. There's still one test pending uh, from the 30. Can you tell me whether this individual had any contact with the inmate population that would pose any kind of threat to those prisoners? Well, I inevitably, yes, because, you know, like I've always said, in prisons, it's hard to social distance, and the nature of our work is that we we have to supervise prisoners, um, they have to search prisoners, they have to escort prisoners, and um, inevitably he had contact with uh, in some of the buildings. So uh, we we plan to do some more contact tracing on Monday, um, and we're going to see how that goes, and that will include inmates as well from the buildings he has visited or had worked in at the time when he worked his shift. Now, I know you guys have put in place various protocols to try to ensure and mitigate the spread of coronavirus behind prison walls. Are there any additional measures that are being looked at in light of this new development? Well, I am certainly contemplating uh, putting the prison on full lockdown, um, but I want to do those contact tracing uh, come Monday and then we want to see what other results uh, shows up, um, especially if there's any prisoner that would be infected. Um, I'm hoping that is not the case. Um, one of the things I want to point out here, um, Itani, is that the, the four persons, the four guys that tested positive um, in today's results, uh, they came from varying districts. Um, one is all the way from uh, Punta Gorda, the other one is all the way in Corozal, one is from San Ignacio, and the other one is in a grass area. So um, this thing has us very baffled um, because the, of the space of time or the period of time that has elapsed uh, before these guys um, uh, you know, were tested and, and really not showing any symptoms at all.